What's up YouTube? So I'm out here in the garage getting ready to do some maintenance on the GSX-R 1000R. I actually got to clean the air filter and I thought I would cover and I was going to tell you why I no longer use swing arm spools on any of my bikes and it has to do with why this bike now has a Gen 5 swing arm on the reel. So let's roll the intro and I'll get back and show you why. I'm taking it off to GSXR and I will never use them again. All right, so let me just go ahead and get these off real quick. So Essentially, I low sided at VIR, simple low side. I mean, the bike took a lot of damage, and the little knuckle or mount that these swing arms won't go into actually snapped off. So, this is like third time I've had swing arm spool snap off, but I never damaged the actual swing arm. It was the, um, we'll say, the bolt. I've had the bolt snap off. So yeah, I've had the bolt snap off, tap it out screw it, knock it with a hammer, basically fight it to come out. And then I've always gone back to them because for some reason, I always decided that, hey, it makes using rear stand easier. Well, that's not true because actually if you slide up the rubber part on the stand to the little buckle mount or the mount, you will, it's pretty easy. It's not, I don't even need spools. All right, so I'm just going to show you real quick. This is the result of a low side at VIR. Essentially, it snapped the bung off and I didn't swing arm spool was gone. Now, looking at the damage, I really don't think that the swing arm was completely ruined or unusable. And I say that because after looking at it, I see that the bung's just missing, but I don't see any cracking here, and I've read where others have used it. Same, so if you look at a bung undamaged, you see that it's, it's hollow inside anyway. So essentially that's what snapped off. Now, if I was impressed and hard pressed and I didn't have other bike damage and I was racing or I needed, I would have really considered using this swing arm because like I said, I don't think it's damaged without repair. But the good thing about it is I'm gonna make a video because I, this was something when I was doing it was hard to see or find the tools and what you do need to put a Gen 5 swing arm on a Gen 4. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm going to try and do more content on things that I want, things that I couldn't find. So uh, just hit the bell notification and like and subscribe. Thanks for your time.